Assalamualaikum Welcome everyone to the continuation of the lecture on artificial neural networks Today I will discuss uh, re-look the problem of least squares regression So as you recall in the notes we have looked at this problem and we solve it using the polynomial before solving the same problem using artificial neural networks so what we're going to do is to repeat this problem using Python in Google Colab. If you open your e-learning, you would have loaded okay, in the topic of artificial neural network, so this sample Python code. So <clears throat> please, have, please have this with you when uh, you are following this video. All right, so what you can do is to open a new notebook. So make sure you open it in the appropriate, appropriate folder. So enter an appropriate folder first and then you can open a new notebook okay you can rename it as you like but I would just like to highlight this uh, code okay there's two parts one solving the problem with the polynomial and then using a one input one output artificial neural network just to get started with programming with uh, an artificial neural network so the first line, first few lines are just standard. You can just paste it here and run it. So the first few lines are setting up. So this, these first three lines are importing the essential libraries, NumPy, which is the library for scientific processing, math, which is the library allowing you to use standard mathematical formulas, and then uh, matplotlib allows you to to facilitate a lot of plotting okay so if you run it if you run it correctly then you should have seen a graph here so if not then you will need to check so you can see here the Paste function is not pasting it as supposed to, to be. So it, it's supposed to be. Alright, you can see a few errors already. So if you correct that, then the file should run nicely. Okay, so this is a decayed sine wave. So the, the amplitude is less than minus one and one. And okay, the function is here. So we can, uh, this is just, these two lines is just to create a function. This That's how you define a function in Python. And then you, define the data where how how much uh, data you want for the function to plot so here is from 0 to 8 the interval is 0 0.1 and this is how you plot and you label the plot okay I think that is uh, very straightforward so you can add the comments here so in the next part again you need to check for those errors it should be I think the new the new line is not working when you paste all right 
so this is the problem so assuming you have actually in reality you would have the data only so in reality you would have just this red dots and you need to find the blue line which is the function itself so although in this case we know the blue line but by the way this is just an exercise so you just need to find or approximate the red data sets using a polynomial so this is just showing you the actual training data are x and y so if you if you just want to look at the data sets you can just start x and y shift enter and you can see okay that's the the data maybe you do it one by one so and you can see the length of the data so actually we have 80 data sets and the training data the red dots are the one that we will use for training x train you will see it should be less than 80 so you can adjust this later on so the problem will be more difficult if you have less data so you can just uh, reduce this maybe use less interval or you you can physically or manually type what where the location of the training data that you want okay so now we're going to fit a polynomial for this data set so for the next part of this code So if you look at this code, uh, you you won't see the this quest formula, uh, whatever that is in the book because it has been coded for you, right? This polyfit. If you just move your cursor on the on the name of the function, then you would see how to use it, just like in MATLAB. And here I just wanted to fit a polynomial this is the line the most important line you just give the training data okay the red dots that's the order of the polynomial if you recall we define the polynomial here so M is given by 11 as shown in the as, as uh, indicated in this case so if you use bigger value then you would have more parameters and so on so let's see how well this polynomial can fit the read data so we just plot it sorry okay you can see the blue, the green, and the actual data. You can just see if I were to use less uh, simpler polynomial, you can see it cannot fit the data that well. Okay, so I think that's all for this video. I hope you've learned something on polyfit, how to use polyfit, and other new things related to Python. Thank you, everyone. See you next time. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.